Well, I did it. As you can see, I am standing here in a brand new chest and arm, the Vaughn SLR4. Now, if you know me, you know this is the last piece of equipment I actually ever want to buy. In fact, the one I had previously is the Vaughn V4, which if you've been around hockey any length of time, you know is about probably 14 or so years old. Now, I will 1000% admit that from a protection standpoint, this is probably overkill for 75, 80% of the guys that I play against. Um, but at the same time, I don't really see a point as an adult to buy what I would call anything lower level. Now I know the senior pro version um, of anything right now is probably pretty good in most regards, but I will also say I'm a big believer in buying things that were manufactured in the US or even Canada. So those will always be things that I prefer to spend a few extra dollars on. So to me, well worth the money. Now in all fairness, I actually really like the unit. Um, it is far bulkier than, and when I say bulkier, I don't want to make it sound like it's a bad way bulky. Um, I don't think it's a fair comparison because yes, I did try on the V10 in comparison to this, in comparison to my, obviously my old one. And the V10 felt very, very similar. Not so much I could just get on the ice and wear it and feel great with it. It still needed its own adjustments. But the V10 felt far closer to what I was used to. And a few things that I had done on my V4 right out of the box essentially was, it's gonna be very hard to see on the camera. I tie the shoulder folders down. So the strapping, nothing really touched there. I tie this down to pull these down because I don't really like when they sit up too high next to my ears. This one doesn't really do that. Um, I also tucked these, the full loaders in behind the chest plate. And I did that to kind of really keep them in place. The other thing in regards to how I wear or have worn my chest protectors, which I'll probably do another video on that down the road, um, is a little different than most. Now, I don't wanna say it's drastically different, but a little different than most. And it started when I was younger and I got into like my first senior or adult sized equipment. And at the time we didn't have a lot of money. So I ended up with a coho, whatever version it was, pretty low level. And unfortunately, because of the way it was designed, and I'm sure it was more or less a design floor, unless you wore it in specific ways, the belly pad would literally flip up anytime I moved. And it didn't matter how much tight I made anything, um, it would flip up. The only way I found to prevent that was to literally run a skate lace through the loop that's on just about every chest protector, which is kind of there for pants or other laces, and around my waist and cinch it down. So I wore my chest protector on tucked, tied down. Um, and because of that, I got really used to a chest protector fitting in a certain way, and kind of in a way that I would say is snug to the body, but again, outside the pants. So because of that, I did that for everything I had. And I don't remember what I had other than the V4. And I had a Glenn Miller, whatever number it might've been, which was a custom unit, which I got probably around 20 years old. And then I got this guy again, probably around 26, 28, probably closer to 26. So I had that Glenn Miller for probably five to six years. And then I had this guy obviously for what now is probably close to 14 years. Um, granted, like I've said many times, I didn't skate at all in the last four years. So relatively to age, it had about 10 years worth of use before I stopped skating. Um, nevertheless, in regards to why I made the upgrade, um, I'm gonna be honest and say I probably could have got away with the V4 as long as I wanted to at this stage of my hockey career. The things I will tell you <clears throat> that were part of the reason. One, and you're not gonna be able to pick this up too much on camera, there is bro broken plastic in the forearm. So that's without question already an issue. In addition to that, there's a lot of areas or space where the seam is ripped or ripping, where the pad is coming through, um, both obviously on the floaters, on the neck area, where obviously it rubs on a jersey or my neck protector, um, honestly back here on the shoulder floaters, on the internal area, the pad's starting to run through, and honestly in just a lot of other small places like that, I've seen just what I would call normal wear and tear and breakdown, especially for a unit that's this age. And I will say it's actually pretty good wear and tear, um, even to the point where I'm missing a few things. Like on the old ones, they used to have these little extensions that would go on, add a little protection, close up some gaps. Lost it on the left side, no idea where I lost it. Probably was in a bag, didn't realize what it was and just kind of tossed it. Um, things of that nature. Now, in terms of how I'm gonna wear this, I tried it on the store two different ways and I'll actually talk about sizing here in a second. 
I tried to line the store in two different ways. One way being, as you could see, I did have my pants um, on tucked. I did kind of a little mini half tuck and then I did a tuck. And I will say, um, on tucked with the lace around like I've always done, felt fine. So I felt like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna need some adjustments, but I could probably manage this. I actually did put it tucked and I felt like it actually felt pretty good. Um, felt It fit me well here. And then obviously tying into the pants, keeping it down, you know, getting the pants snugged in a certain way. No suspenders as of this point, but um, I do see it being possible um, to find a comfortable way of doing it. Now, again, most of the skates that I have are like three on three, rent out pickups. So I'm not really worried about getting on the ice with this the first time. I won't wear it in a game if the next time I skate is in a game. It'll probably take me three or four skates of playing around with how I do it or how I wear it before I decide I'm going to use it in that way. The thing I want to talk about quickly though, um, just for this video before I make another video later on about adjustments or things that I may do to it is sizing. So I'm 6'3". I have long arms. So longer arms than somebody who's normally 6'3". I also have a fairly short torso. Um, I'm mostly leg. Um, my hip bone is fairly high. My legs are long. Nothing really fits me great. A lot of times I do have to go custom for pads just to make sure something fits me right. That being said, um, that was an area where I had to get into the store. Couldn't just rely on the fact that on this old unit, I was an extra large. When I put on extra large in the SLR, it definitely felt long. The sleeves were a little longer than maybe I like, but they also have some adjustability in the way the sleeve is designed. So I think I could have made do with that. But in the body, it felt like it just came too low. Like here, it's literally right above where it should be, um, kind of falls right to where it needs to be. In the extra large, it was a little bit longer, which made obviously tuck in almost impossible, have to wear it on the outside with that, even that small bit of difference. And in terms of arm length, the extra large, I would say the arms fully extended were too long and maybe just right, essentially though, the same as it, it is currently on this one with the large. So in all fairness, I'm not really worried about it. And now these aren't gonna be my future gloves. These are my current gloves. Um, I did obviously use gloves that were in the store and for comparison, there's no binding issues. As you can see, if you can see, the cuff of the glove goes right to the cuff of the chest protector, so there's no issues there. Obviously, with the new one, it'll be a little bit different, but um, close enough. And then the same thing with the blocker, and honestly, I'm going to avoid putting them on just because my hands are going to stink from it. Um, and then, obviously, the other part of the reason why I did make the upgrade is because this stinks. Um, yeah, I know I could wash it. I have washed stuff in the past. I don't really wash protector that much, I'm not going to lie. Um, I prefer it to be a little bit more on the, I don't want to say dingy side of things, but kind of like broken in, broken down side of feeling. Um, you know, kind of looking like a t-shirt, hoodie maybe, um, is a little bit more along the lines of what I like in regards to the way these things fit. Now granted, I'm going to do my best to take care of this. Um, I want it to last me a long time, and uh, that's where it's at. Other than that, a few other things that I grabbed, some, you know, things just to have, some extra tape. I got my skates sharpened and obviously my backup steel sharpened. I'll be able to switch that in and out and then kind of maintain that. I did grab a couple of practice jerseys because the guys I skate with, this is what they wear. I have matches, matching jerseys for them, but I just like the way these kind of feel a bit more. And I also decided to pick up another new or different set of um, knee thigh pads, which I currently have the Bauer Pro, which replaced the Bauer Supremes, which again are obviously significantly older. The funny part is I will tell you these are extremely similar to the old Bauer Supremes, which kind of tells me obviously they've just been knocked off of each other or at one point in time, there might even be an outside company making these for the other brands and licensing them out. Um, again, each one probably having their own little nuances. The thing I do like about the Vaughn one, even though it is a little bit pricier, it comes with the garter, which I never really used before. But again, I've been trying some different things, trying things in a way that's going to elicit um, a better user experience, if you will, right? So kind of excited to see how that goes. Again, I'm not skating again for, I want to say a little over a week. So, you know, I'll have to play around with all the adjustability and everything else. In terms of the chest protector, I'm going to bring it inside here shortly and kind of play around with how I'm going to set it up. Um, how I'm going to set that up, I'm not really sure. Again, it's ultimately just going to depend on um, you know, what I feel to be the most comfortable. It's not too bad where it sits, but a few of the things that I might do, which again, I'll do another video on, is move the shoulder floater Velcro to the outside tab, make sure they're cinched down a little bit. And then I probably will end up taking out these extra pads that they have underneath the shoulder floaters. Again, from a protection standpoint, I don't really think I need them there. I don't really think it's gonna make that big of a difference in safety since I didn't have them on these and this is definitely broken down. 
I like to get a little more mobility out of the unit, especially while it's being broken in. And then obviously just making adjustments to maybe some of the smaller things around the body, depending on how I decide to wear it. But I really do like it. I actually really like as well the um, setup it has because the clips, totally different than what obviously I've had in the past with the basic, um, you know, just clip, I don't remember what they're called, but whatever the hell the old school style of, uh, you know, attachments are, you know, essentially that they use with the click in. Um, this guy, you know, again, open that up and then it has a little pull tab, which a little bit fight with just to kind of get used to it. But um, the way it kind of sets up is, is really nice in, in regards to the way it secures and the way it kind of um, puts it together. And you know, it takes a little bit of playing around with, and I don't know if again, you'll be able to pick that up, but the way it works is, and again, it's gonna take me some time to kind of learn the system. Um, it just, I don't know. I, I honestly don't even know how to explain it, but it's enough of me rambling for now. If you guys have any questions on the unit, if you wanna know anything more about it, just let me know. I'm happy to answer it, but I'm looking forward to actually playing around with it, playing it, getting it on the ice. I said it's gonna be probably about two weeks before I'm able to do so, maybe a week and a half, but uh, yeah, that's it for now, so. Appreciate you guys uh, giving me any attention you got. Like, comment, share, follow, all that stuff that goes on here. Um, again, I want to just try to add as much value as I can, share you, take you along my experience on getting back into the ice, upgrading my equipment. And like I said, I'll probably do a more in-depth review and comparison of my old stuff versus new stuff and how, how, how I make it work for me. So have a good one.